praise the Lord. Good morning, dear children. Let us start this new academic year with a prayer. Almighty and eternal Lord, as we begin this new academic year, we pray for your mercy and protection. Forgive us our sins and wipe away every force of evil from the face of this earth. Create an atmosphere to live without anxiety and fear. Bring peace, health and happiness to every nation in this world. Thank you, Lord Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Guardian Angel and Mother Mary, be our guide and protector. Amen. Before I go on to the ninth Standard Catechism text, a few words to my dear students. All of us know that ninth Standard performance is very crucial because you will be facing the public exams next year. There is no shortcut to success. Hard work, dedication and perseverance will bring you laurels. For this, you have to keep yourself mentally, physically and spiritually nourished. Develop an inner strength through prayer. Be regular to the sacraments. Keep your mind free of hatred and vengeance. Experience the peace of mind by forgiving those who have hurt you. God bless you all. Now, over to the lessons. Catechism text of Standard 9 deals with Christian life. The lessons in this text aims at nourishing and deepening the faith of the younger generation to advance in life with hope in the Lord and face the challenges of the modern world. Spread into 12 chapters, the various aspects of different vocations in life are explained in comfortable and simple language with examples from familiar surroundings easily understood by a teenager. It appeals to everyone who reads it and will transform their attitude to life. The lesson on church and the apostles explain how the teachings of Christ are passed on to the apostles and from the apostles to the church, from the church to the religious and to every Christian family. The role of a church in various fields will enable you to understand the challenges faced by the church. Another strong message to the students is the protection of the environment. Although widely discussed around the world, the responsibility of each and every one of you in protecting Mother Earth is stressed here also. The book ends with a very inspiring life history of St. Thomas Aquinas, the Prince of Theologians. Over to the first lesson. God created the world with His infinite wisdom and intelligence and entrusted it in the hands of humanity to protect and prosper it. But the greedy humans started to exploit Mother Earth. Consequently, the harmony of the universe was disoriented. But the merciful Lord chose efficient people to restructure the world. Similarly, people invited by God for recreating the kingdom of God are called the children of God. The first lesson deals with vocation. What is vocation? We are the children of God. Therefore, God welcomes us to live in His love, liberty and perfection. It is building up of the kingdom of God. Moreover, it is an invitation by God to grow and spread wide in the generosity of God who made the sun rise and showers of the sky to fall both on the good and the bad. What is the kingdom of God? The state of being with God, led by God and reigned by God. Reign does not mean ruling in the worldly sense but protection and guidance out of His infinite mercy and love. The leaders who heard the voice of God. Abraham to lead the Hebrews. 
Moses to lead the Israelites. Jeremiah to demolish all devilish deeds. Peter, the fisherman, was called by Christ to catch human beings. An extract from Luke chapter 5 verse 10 says, Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching people. Every Christian through baptism partakes in the trifaceted duty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, not only the religious like priests and nuns, but each one of us is called by God to spread the good news to the world. The trifaceted duty of a Christian are First, the priestly mission to preserve the wisdom of God and lead the people. Second, prophetic mission, resist injustice, proclaim to the people to renounce sin and return to the covenant made with God. Third, kingly mission, king, leader and shepherd, protect everyone and lead them to God. Various Aspects of Vocation God calls whom He likes. From those who are called, some are chosen. The chosen ones are given a mission. Those who are chosen for such vocation are destined to love both foes and friends, protect the universe, resist social injustice, and be compassionate after the model of Christ. All our words and deeds should be for the glory of God. Christian life means to continue the life of Christ and complete it in ourselves. For homework, please refer to page 13 of the text for activities. Thank you for listening. This is your class teacher, Christina, Standard 9. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow